Welcome back. It's great to see you. It's been a while. I'm sorry. Um, it, nothing was bad or wrong. It was just busy. But um, I had to. I couldn't help myself. I had to show you what we bought when we went shopping recently. We went to an estate sale maybe about a month ago and um, in the basement was a lot of Christmas stuff. And usually, um, depending if it's vintage and interesting, it can be a little pricey, but uh, the people who were running this estate sale are just very understanding and savvy and they gave us really great deals. So if you will sit at our table, I will show you what we got there. First thing that I saw and that I really wanted to pick up was this ornament, uh, which is really 1940s looking to me. And I say this because it's somewhat pared down, uh, which reminds me of the 40s where um, some things were going towards the war effort. So you didn't have as much choice of texture and material and fabric and color. And so this is a two-tone plastic thing, but it has so much style. It's a little bit 1920s, really, uh, with those swooping curves. And um, <clears throat> the way it works for me when I'm in a room with a bunch of stuff is I try and zoom in on something that I'm going... If I had to walk out with one thing, or if I missed that one thing, from here. Let's say I saw someone walking out with it. You know, what, what would be the thing that I would say, oh, that's the thing I wanted. And if I can spot one thing like this, then I'll try and make a bundle. If the other things aren't that great, well, then at least I got my one thing that I would have tried to save in a fire. So that was the thing for me. Um, I thought it had a lot of style. And so we went with that and then I looked around me and and it was there all around were little plastic vintage Christmas things. And I thought, well, let's give it a go. If it's not that expensive, I'll see if it's worth anything. It turns out that such little charming nativity scenes with the glitter on top and the trees and little figures and everything um, can go from like maybe 10 to 15, 20 dollars uh, on eBay. Uh, so I grabbed what I could <laughs> and um, some of them have a little bit broken. I'll see if I lot some of them together, but certainly those, those were some of my favorite stuff there. And then I will just show you to give you an idea because after a while of picking up stuff, I went back upstairs and showed the woman who was running the sale and um, I said to my husband, let's just, let's just get everything we want and we'll see what she says. You know, if she says $60, then maybe I'll go, well, look, if we just take this, how much, you know, but let's start there. And um, basically this is what we got um, upstairs plus another couple of bags and boxes. Um, this was more full, it had more stuff in it. And uh, I showed this to the woman running the sale and I said, so how much are you thinking? And she went, okay, you wanna know what I did here? Two, four, six, eight, there. Um, she kind of gave us everything for about 15 or 18 dollars that was like about eight dollars she just went two bucks per row <laughs> not even so hey you just throw anything in there there were such um particular ornaments like this which is very lovely vintage um you know i would say maybe from the 50s maybe a little before um what i would say is an apple core and indeed, when I looked this up online on eBay, uh, such Apple cores um, were on eBay selling for $10, $15 a piece. So we found two of those. And they are called Apple core Christmas ornaments if you're looking for them online. Um, this is a little Hallmark 
ornament. These I was really happy to find are nativity figures um, that are marked hand painted in Italy. This one's been repaired, but you know, at like 30 cents a piece, I don't care. Uh, this one has not been repaired. Um, some of these sell well, uh, particularly the ones made in Italy. So I was very happy with that. This is just an owl. There are a great many owl collectors, my mother included. Um, a dancing, skating penguin, which I think looks very smart. Somebody ought to want that. It's my cat you hear singing in the background. Then I found a whole collection of these guys. They were wrapped um, in a box in tissue paper and I promptly started going through all of that. <laughs> going, yeah, let's throw that in, you know. So that was in the, the 15 to $18 for all of this. Um, so maybe I'll make a lot of that or maybe I'll just sell the, uh, the two swans together. I'm gonna start putting some of that away and make a little room for us. Um, and that's it, you know, I'm, I'm just planning to show you some of the, the most interesting items. Another made in Italy figure. I have uh, more of these delightful Christmas ornaments that are mercury glass or just glass in general. Get up for a moment and show you more. Now this one oops, goes this way. I think is particularly luscious and wonderful and they're in good condition. I seem to come unprepared. There's a jug. And uh, there were even little figurines aside from that, which I thought were wonderful. Because um, that's, I think people really go for that charming angels and, and uh, that, that kind of figurine. So um, it'll be nice to make little lots of things. This great big Santa shoe. Uh, is so 60s, 70s. And then we went back the next day because this was so great. And I thought, ah, I think there, there may be a little bit more I want to get. We'll see. Well, my husband ended up buying something for resale as well. I believe uh, some sockets for big tools. Anyways, and spent about $15. And I brought up like two good size boxes again and she just gave them to me and so in one of those boxes was reflectors to put around your light um, on the Christmas tree and there's a, a whole bunch of them basically that I have in this in this bag. Uh, so that was a lot of fun just finding a bunch of very atmospheric decorative pieces. Uh, found a little mercury glass Santa Claus even. And at these crazy prices uh, we just have had a lot of fun. Um, I even found some magnets, fridge magnets, <laughs> that can all go into a lot. Um, it was just great to have that fun experience of just saying, let's just toss it all in that big box and bring it upstairs and see if we can't get it all instead of going through everything and deciding in the basement what we were going to, ah, oh, you know, it, it was liberating. So just a short video so that I could share the fun with you. 
and I hope you have that experience soon. We'll be back soon with more. We've been to estate sales and things in the spring, and now the sales are coming, and it will be great. We'll have lots of fun soon with more stuff. I hope you're having fun with stuff and picking up awesome things, and uh, take care, and if you like this video, uh, please like, leave comments, and we'll talk soon.